He made the sacrifice so that you can be free. Python is going to break, and I'm closing my sermon now, but listen. Listen. Do you know what the Bible said Paul and Silas did? They sung praises at midnight. And as they sung praises at midnight, God sent an earthquake. And here's the point I want to get to. The next morning, they went back into the prison. After God set them free. And they sat down. And the jailer came and said, Why are you back? God set you free. And they made this powerful statement. They said, You did not put us in here privately. And we're not going to leave out of this prison house privately. Wait just one moment. You know that Python is broken off of your life when you are willing. See, Paul and Silas were saying, We want the same people who saw us go in come out see us come out. We want the same people who watched us when we were in sin now know that we have been free. And you know you're free from Python when you go public and you're not ashamed of Jesus anymore and you want everybody to know it. I want you to raise your hands all over this building right now. Raise them up high. The Holy Spirit is here. He said, Son, I want you to give a virgin altar call. What does that mean? It's too late, somebody say. No, it's not. Starting tonight. Starting tonight. I'm going to be free. My body is not going to be controlled by Python. Some of you You've lost your praise. You've lost the breath. You've lost the spirit. God wants to breathe on you again tonight. And when you leave this place, you're going to leave here praying in tongues as the spirit gives you the utterance. You're going to get your breath back with every head bowed, every eye closed. I want you to stand to your feet. You know what I feel like God's going to do? He's going to clean some of you up. He's going to untie areas of your life that Python is already beginning to bind you up in. Some of you are going to have to go home and get rid of some of the musical pornography. Some of you are going to have to go get rid of some things in your life. And, and you can't do it on your own, but His power is going to break tonight. And breathe. With your heads bowed and your eyes closed, if you'd say, Pastor Franklin, that's me. I'm not going to play God games anymore. I want to give him everything. I want Python to break. I want to breathe again. Pray for me. If that's you, slip your hand up. Be honest. All over this. They're going up. All over. Up in the top balcony. Raise them high. I want every one of you that have raised your hand to get out from where you are. I don't care if you're in the top seat. I'm going to wait on you. I want you to get out from where you are, and I want you to feel this whole altar section. The Holy Ghost is fixing to fall in this altar in a mighty way. I sense it in my spirit, and I want you to come. If you're a backslider, if you don't know where you stand with God, if you feel like Python's got you, you want your mind to get loose, you, some of you are bound to a memory. Some of you need to answer the virgin altar call. You're not, you can't go back and change the past, but starting tonight starting tonight. Some of you are in wrong relationships and the devil's got you wrapped up. Dating somebody that's not even a Christian and the devil's got you wrapped up. And you know you're already compromising doing things that you know you shouldn't be doing. The Lord's going to loose you and you're going to go back and you're going to have a boldness. You're going to be like Paul and Silas and say, I want everybody to know. I want all my friends to know. I want all the people I partied with to know I'm not the same person. And we're going to pray this prayer. We're going to pray this prayer, and when we pray it, Python is going to loose you. How many of you believe this message was for you tonight? It wasn't just for somebody out there. It was for you tonight. Everybody pray this prayer. Father, in Jesus' name, I come to you tonight, and I give you my body. I give you my mind. I give you my eternal spirit. From this night forward, I belong to you. I'll clean my life up. I know the music that I've been listening to that grieves your spirit. 
I know the movie I've been looking at that grieves your spirit. I know the people I've got entangled with that I'm not strong enough and it's grieving your spirit. So tonight, I lay it down. Tonight, I want my breath back. Tonight, I want to raise my hands and not feel dirty anymore and not feel like I'm bound anymore. Would you please breathe on me one more time? Would you please touch me one more time? Would you please loose me from Python one more time? I want to breathe again.